Hi tweens! Welcome back to Tween Scene Online. I hope you enjoyed painting a miniature bird bath last week. This week we'll be creating whiteboard signs using picture frames and washi tape. In your kit, you'll find a baggie with a selection of three or four rolls of washi tape, a picture frame, and a thin dry erase marker. You probably won't use all of the washi tape for your project. There's no need to return the rolls, just save them for another project some other time. You will also need a pair of scissors to complete this craft. First, you'll want to unwrap your kit and take out the stuff that is slotted in the middle here. You'll find there are two clear plastic pieces. You can take the um, protective coverings off of those and set one aside to be your writing surface. Next, you're going to attach the base to your picture frame, like so, and set that aside. There are two ways to create your back down, background design. The first is by placing the washi tape directly on the second clear plastic sheet. This is one I completed before. You can see the reflection of the plastic in the camera. The second method, and the one I'm going to show you today, is by using the back of this information sheet, which is blank. If you mess it up, don't worry, you can always use that sheet as a template to cut out a new piece of blank paper. You can use construction paper, printer paper, even notebook paper. I've had to do that here since it's taken me several tries to record this video. All right, then you can decide what your design is going to look like. Here's a tip. The edges of the picture frame will obscure the edges of your paper. So keep that in mind when you're designing your design. And then you're gonna lay out your washi tape. The neat thing about washi tape is that you can gently reposition it without tearing the paper if you need to. All right, so I'm gonna start with some fruit. So uh, summary design. to be straight but I'm not going to go crazy if it's a little off. And then I'm going to do some stripes. And it's all right if it overlaps the paper a little bit. You're going to trim that when you're done. And then one of my washi tape rolls has a braise on it. I am very busy. Okay. Oh, I think I want to do another one. Stripes. More stripes. A wrinkle there, I gotta smooth that out. I'm very busy again. Stripes. Okay. 
more fruit. More stripes. Last but not least, another I am very busy. I don't think this one's going to show up very well. It'll probably be blocked by the picture frame, but I'll still put it in there. All right, my paper's completely covered. Now, I'm going to want to trim. I'll lift it up gently. I'm going to want to trim the back. Yours might show the technical information from the picture frame or if you've um, created your own from the template it'll be blank like this one and I'm just going to take my scissors and trim them. I could just fold the edges over but I want to keep it as neat as possible so I'll stick it on my scissors a lot neater. The other side. And there we go. We have our nice neat design. Got all my extra little scraps of tape here that I can discard and when I clean up after my project. Once you have your design set, you can assemble your whiteboard. First, you're going to slide your design into your picture frame. Make sure it goes all the way down to the bottom. Then you'll get your clear plastic and you're going to slot that in the top, making sure that that's in front because that's your writing surface. You can now write whatever you want on the screen. Make sure you These markers have a chiseled tip, so depending on how you use it, the surface will be either thick or thin. Alright, to erase, all you'll need is a tissue paper, a piece of tissue, uh, not tissue paper, a piece of tissue, uh, paper towel, whatever you want, um, even a cloth will work. And then you just go across. If your writing has been on there for quite some time, you may need to dampen your tissue in order to get the writing off. That is all for this week. Be sure to sign up for next week's tutorial when we're going to be learning how to do origami using cloth napkins. Here's a preview of our origami rose. Hope you enjoyed today's craft. See you next time, tweens. Bye.